What's up guys, this is Foden here with a little tutorial on how to sort of make your animations fit the scene you're trying to make. For example, uh, well I just got a comment from um, AJ Troopers saying at 3 minutes 22 the man in front of you, which was this guy, how did you animate him like that, all the actions and how did you make the camera movement like that? Please do a tutorial on the scene, thanks. Um, basically, I'm just going to run through how i done it. Um, so if I just open it up I've got to find, here we go, so it'll be the cinematic scenes helicopter spin scene it'll be there we go let me just get this all set up won't be too long so don't need the lighting whatsoever, that's just going to make things lag and I'll just turn off the helicopter as well because we don't need that uh, and this guy uh, 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 yeah, we'll we'll take this guy off. All right. So basically, the camera movement because the helicopter was spinning. If you were sitting in that helicopter, it's basically what you have to do is you have to put yourself in that scene, and it's it's sad and queer. Like say, sorry, I shouldn't say that. It's sad saying, um, oh yeah, you shouldn't have to do that. It's it's a bit bit weird putting yourself into the scene and imagining that and all that crap. It's, it's like it's like asking somebody to close their eyes and picture they're in a beautiful place. It's like, nah, alright. Um, but no, if you just think about it a little bit, just think, what would happen if I was sitting in a helicopter when it was spinning around? Well, you'd be shaking all over the place. So that was the first thing I did with the camera. I just moved the camera around, up, down, left, right, just random places. And I also put the cameras in a certain place where I could actually see the animation that I had actually made. Um, so I, I'd recommend doing the camera actually last, to be fair. Um, so if I took, take the camera off and I hide it, we'll just run through what the guy's like. So the guy's sitting there. Um, and just for those people who doubt me, they are custom animations that are not endorphin or anything custom keyframes um, but yeah his legs stay the same throughout they don't actually move um, and the you don't really see that is because the camera is swaying as well so it helps to sort of blend it in a bit but yeah the legs stay there but all I've done is I moved the lower body upwards so on the hierarchy of bones which would be lower body all the way to the neck and arms I had the body, let's, I don't know, how do I do this? So I had the body throw forward. Um, how do I explain this? I would recommend for this scene, um, I started on with, I started off with the lower, middle, and upper joints, um, and then I animated the arms and neck separately. And the reason why is because I just start, say you do the 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 body. So throw the body forward, and I'm just just imagine the body. Just exclude the arms and head at the minute. Um, I uh, had the body throw forward, then throw back again, then to the side, then then that goes into slow motion, and then it swings back. So you can see a lot of movement within the body, um, because obviously the, the helicopter spin around, so he's going to be thrown about the place as well. So that's what I've done first of all, and then I animated the arms, uh, oops, the wrists, animated the arms to the torso. So if he gets thrown forward what will his arms do? His arms aren't going to get thrown forward as well. His arms will stay there. And if anything, his arms will be thrown back behind him. And then as he comes forward, his arms come out in front of his body. And it's just like realism like that. If you just like start shaking your body around and just picture what your arms do and try and recreate those movements in Cinema 4D. That's where you're gonna uh, start to get your your real realism in your animation. So, as you can, if I just scroll through that again, so and then he regains balance, slow motion, and again as he swung, his arms are they're not making they're not moving that much in these parts, but they are moving gently as you can see the keyframes are moving the wrist is going left right left or whatever and um, and then I'll do the head after that the reason I'll do the, the body first is because then you can do the main core of the animation 
which is the body movement, and then you can work on the, like, I don't know, the little, I don't know what, to, what the word is for it, but the arms and head. You will then match the animation of those parts to your main body. Um, and I wouldn't suggest doing, like, moving along the keyframe and do your body, then your head, then your arms, and then move along. Um, because that might get a bit confusing for you. You might misunderstand where your animation's going. Um, if you can do that, great. But if you're still learning, I just advise to stick with one thing at a time. Um, being the important things first, and then the less important things last. Um, what's this thing doing? I don't need this. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically how I've done it. And then, if I bring the camera back in, we've got our animation. But because, obviously, this camera is representing the eyes of another guy, you have to recreate that same swinging motion, swinging of the head. Obviously, if the helicopter's spinning, his head's not going to stay still. It's going to be waving all over the place. So wherever, wherever he went, so as you can see here, if you just watch the character as I scroll forward, he gets swung back and to his right, but our left. So he gets swung sort of that way, like as in starting here, ending here. So he sways to the left. And that's what I've done with the camera as well. You need to keep your whole animation the same. You can't have one person going right, you can't have one person going left. In order to keep the realism, I kept everything the same. So the, the forces that I've created myself, I kept the same. If the guy went left, the head was swung left as well. As he was looking, I was looking, because obviously there's a guy falling out. You're not going to ignore that. You're going to think, what the fuck, look at him, and then you'll get swung back. Obviously, I added some more camera shake in After Effects as well to make the effect better. But yeah, I hope that helped you, AJ Trooper. Um, that's how I sort of created the scenes, but like a, just a little overall summary of this tutorial. Just picture what your animations would be like in real life and animate them and start animating them from the body animating that first and then start again on timeline and then do the arms and then once you're happy with that then do the head and you can always go back and edit it if you feel you need to so um, yeah please like and comment subscribe um, put in the comment section if you have any more tutorials you'd like me to try or do um, because obviously if I get a comment and I think yeah I could probably do that I'll pretty much record it straight away or when I have time so um, I'd like to get as much to people as they would like. That's the whole point of my channel. Learning 3D animation. Because I know a lot of people are getting into it now. And there's hardly any YouTube tutorials on there. So I'm here to help. I'm here to solve that problem. <laughs> so I'll, I'll see you later guys. Peace.